at 5. It is groundbreaking work right in our own backyard. Channel 2 Action News partnered with police, firefighters, and the FAA to do this, fly drones over breaking news. Channel 2's Tony Thomas reports from Tequila. This drill could have national impact. So here's the scenario. Gwinnett County fire arrives on a house fire. There are victims trapped inside. Soon, drone operators and their machines arrive. Now, currently, there are no firm rules on how police, fire, and the operators communicate and regulate themselves. This test, designed to hopefully help set regulations nationwide. The FAA representative, along with Georgia Tech researchers, were on hand as two drones from the News Drone 2 fleet and News Chopper 2 hovered over firefighters battling the fire. I know this is groundbreaking for us here in Gwinnett County, the first time we've had drones on an emergency scene, and uh, we know we'll see more of that in the future. Researchers wanted to know how well the firefighters and media could communicate, and if the drones could operate safely in close quarters with ladder trucks, helicopters, and each other. I think it went great. Channel 2 meteorologist Brad Nitz and his team have spent more than a year getting to this point. The exercise today is to see what needs to be done differently, if anything. Figure that out now as opposed to figuring it out at a live fire. News Drone 2 can provide unique angles to an emergency scene, not only to viewers, but the first responders too. Through a screen, the live video gave firefighters a first-hand look at the structure from above. That gave, that gave me a great view of the, the over, so I could see the roof collapse and the, the fire coming through the roof. Currently, drones are heavily regulated on where they can fly and when. Our special FAA exemption allows us to fly in certain situations. Everything gathered at the scene will be put together into a report written by Georgia Tech researchers and given to the FAA. In Gwinnett County, Tony Thomas, Channel 2 Action News.